welcome to quick 3d tutorials in this video i will show you how you can uh, animate the snowball to falling and affect the area there are two ways to do this we can manual keyframe the position or direction we want and we can also use the enclosed system so in this case we're going to use the enclosed system we need to select this object and make it to the collision object to turn this on and if you want to playing with the thickness of the collision you can playing with this value but for this one i just leave it and the second thing is uh, we're going to convert this one to the ink cloth go to the ink cloth shape dynamic and put this one to be 10 and if i now playing it so you can see this uh, snowball try is going to fall so I just stop it for now here I want only have 150 so now I want to actually go ahead and save the cache of this file so to do this that is very important select the end cloth object go to the end cache go ahead to create new one an object use the default setting and from here I want to start from 1 to 150 and just create it so now it's going to save it on the disk so now they has been saved it. the other thing is actually if we look into it is not going inside the up uh, inside the ground so to do this I want that is important part uh, go to the move tool uh, make sure you have not auto key and not keyframe anything inside the frame or time liner just putting it a little bit inside what it does if I now playing it it looks like the the going inside the ground a bit which is this things I want it to be so after it now we are ready to make it to the snow but before it we need to make this one to collision object that is end cloth do not remove the end cloth make it to the collision for the ground we don't need it the we don't need it uh, to be collision object anymore so we can just remove this and select it once again go to end particle soft body use the default setting and create the important part is actually what is going to be affecting this the most important thing is particle size let me show you what i mean with it if we going to the shader and put it to the spear and playing with that maybe I need to type it 0 0.02 so you can see by this one this is affecting the mesh we have so you need to find which number is good for you and you don't need to see it after you have finding the size do you want now if I just playing it so it's going to affect the area it's going to make it very inside and something like this the other thing you can also use controlling it a bit is inside the collision you can also playing with this one and playing with this but the most important is the particles size okay for now we just saying it's okay uh, and the one important thing here inside the collision is friction and the stiffness shall be zero if they are on the high number is trying to drag the vertex with him so in this case we don't want it we need now go to the dynamic property the actually to controlling it the easy way is actually use the damp you can of course use this one and this one but the damp work best so if I look to it now without any damp effect is going to be very like very deep so I want it to be first of all put the drag to zero and put this one to I don't know okay it's not affecting it so much maybe we want it to affecting it 0.15 So 
as deeper do you want go with so you're going to make it 0.15 maybe so you need to play around with this value until you're getting which effect do you look for and of course you need also use the smooth tool to see what kind of effect you are getting. Uh, okay so now this one is too high excuse me 0.05 here we go that is the effect I like I think yeah it's good I just stopping it now go ahead and use the smooth tool so you can see is look not so bad so you can see we have affecting the snow now we're going also to take a quick render so we think how it look like So here it is inside the render, so you can see it is affecting it a little bit soft crash. Of course I have some of noise problem inside the snow shader, but uh, you get the idea how it works. So that is a way how we can animate uh, object to be uh, affecting the soft snow if we have it. So thanks for watching.